Hello everybody, it is Swing Jam with X Trades, and today I'm going over a shorting strategy. So this strategy is going to be mainly used when the market conditions align. So when we see a lot of stocks making new relative lows. So for example, if we look at this chart here by All Star Charts, we could see that you know relative new lows compared to Nasdaq new highs is very very high. What this is basically telling me as a trader is that as while the major indexes are up, a lot of the small or medium cap stocks are making new lows. So when we see something like this where IWM is sort of lagging the past three days, we see SPY pretty much flat or you know, QQQ actually rallying, this is when you're going to kind of want to implement this type of strategy. And what you're mainly looking for is stocks that have basically went sideways and start a range expansion. So a range expansion is pretty much a breakdown to the downside with increased volume. So a lot of these setups, we're seeing the same thing, you know, breaks to the downside, increased volume all of these stocks are going to have very uh, similar setups. The key pattern here is that we see the 8 SMA acting as resistance. We get continued follow through. So the way you're going to enter this setup is two ways. You can enter on the breakout of the support line. So let's say right here on the breakdown at 66.75. Or you can enter on the, you know, near the close at 63.15 or in the last 15 uh, minutes of the session. And what you're mainly looking for is, you know, one to four days of continuation, ideally a gap down and go towards the downside. In this particular market, when breakouts have been working not as well, and it's a more choppy environment, I'm usually taking my gains in one to two sessions instead of the three to four sessions. So that's pretty much the gist of this setup. As we could see a lot of these, for example, MNSO, we had a gap, we had the nice bearish engulfing candle here, broke below the recent lows, and we had a nice gap down and go, nice 11% down. Again, as you could see, most of these stocks are in pretty large downtrends. Uh, moving averages are starting to roll over. Um, for example, TDOC, nice you know range expansion towards the downside. And we see the same thing, another 5% down day. Stocks are in a downtrend. Um, you know, LSPV, this one has more relative strength, but same concept. Um, Task had actually a lot more relative strength. But once we broke below 53.53, we saw that continued downside. Um, ideally, you're going to want to see stocks that have no short-term resistance levels near them. For example, LSPD below 62.71. We don't really see support until the lower end of this range near 56. If we're looking at MNTS, you know, once we break... 1019 we don't really see any really good support till 970 but that didn't even really hold and we retested the lows at 841 so again quick recap you want to see tight consolidation and ranges and when you see the breakdown candle with volume you either enter at the breakout or you know right at the ending of the session you're looking for two sorry one to four days of continuation I quickly want to pull up General Dynamics Corp here as a bad example. First, you see that the ADR, the average daily range, is only 167, while all of these other stocks have an average daily range of 4 to 7. So that means that in an average day, this is going to move maybe 1.5%. Second off, we have a nice um, range here, but we do have a very long lower wick, and it closes below the lows of the day. So that's why if you wait till the end of the day, you're going to make less money, but it is a safer trade. We did break this trend line, but it back tested and you barely gained any profit of only 85 cents. When you're playing these 4% movers, it's a lot easier to get, you know, 5, 6, 7% gains. In addition, what you want to look for is when you see these types of setups, you want to see stocks that in the past have, you know, a history of going down on range expansion. So we have a gap down below the level, range expansion. Upside, range expansion. Gap and go to the upside, range expansion. Same thing over here. If we go to something like LMND, lots of range expansion over here. Same sort of setup. Got nice bullish continuation. Yeah, nice one day of follow through. If you held it for a little bit longer, potential 11%. A lot of examples on both sides. A nice rally, consolidation, breakdown. And we had that gap down and go. It chopped for a little bit, but if you held your position on 10 bars, it would have been 36. Even if you closed three days later, that's 8%. So these are the type of setups that you want to be looking for. It's a lot easier to short stocks that are continuously going down than stocks that are making, you know, uh, double tops or lower highs in markets where the smaller caps are weaker, where you're starting to see a lot of breakdowns, but the, the larger caps 
um, are starting to make new highs. If we're starting to see setups like this, where the indexes are making lower highs or taking old support as new resistance, then you know it's going to be easier taking those setups where you get a double top and a drop or a lower high with you know let's say an anchored view up and a moving average that line up in a short. But if we're in this current market climate, we don't want to use this setup. So if you want to be successful using the strategy, I would recommend studying as much of these range expansion patterns as possible, looking for notes. And while you do that, please keep in mind the market conditions. This is not a strategy you're going to be able to use for most of the year. There is selective time periods or where this will work. And when it does, it works very well. Usually when you go to the downside, the percent gains are more. So that's why you're able to get these six, seven, eight percent moves in one day. And these are very good sort of day trades to week, you know, four or five day trades that you can take without having to sell your positions and it could be acting more as a hedge and you can make additional income while you're, you know, doing your sort of longer term position or swing trades. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys have a great trading week.